G'day everybody, thank you for tuning back into Altros Barbecue. So I'm actually shooting a double video today. Part A is going to be how to smoke a cheap supermarket brisket to the best of your ability to save yourself some money, given the fact that budgets are pretty tight these days. I'm also getting out the new Pit Boss Barrel Smoker, so stay tuned. This is going to be a good one. So make sure your knife is nice and sharp, and let's take a look at our brisket. Supermarket briskets, at least here in Australia, are renowned for being not great quality. As you can see here, I've got some stringy fat, it's fallen off. I don't have great intermuscular fat here. And as you can see, this is just a very thin brisket flat. I guess the trick with these ones is to keep your trim as minimal as possible. So on the back side of the brisket, all I'm doing is taking away that loose fat and leaving it as it is. And then with the top, where I've got my fat cap, I'm just gonna trim away very, very slightly. I'm gonna try and shape it up a little bit, just where I think this brisket is probably gonna burn out anyway. Gonna flatten it off on the side, and then, oops, I made a little bit of a mistake here, and I said, that's it, trim done, no more. Keeping it really simple, I want as much fat cap on this thing as possible. I prepared this trim the day before I was going to smoke, so all I'm going to do is just leave it in the fridge overnight. I'm not going to season it, simply because I don't want too much seasoning on there all night. Turning my attention to the morning, here is my Pit Boss Champion Barrel Smoker. I've got some cherry wood, I've got a water pan there, and some coals ready to fire. So before I do that, it is time to season my brisket. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow mustard on there and I'm gonna keep it real simple. Kosher salt, black pepper, let's go Texan. So you can start your fire in the actual barrel if you wish, but what I'm choosing to do here is just fill up my chimney. I'm gonna get these coals reasonably hot, not piping hot, and I'm gonna put them to one side in the barrel and just distribute that heat. The reason why I wanted to do that is I just wanted to get the temperature of my barrel up a little bit quicker. I have my side dampers and my top damper all the way open. Let's get this thing up to temperature reasonably quickly. Whilst the smoker is getting up to temperature, here's my brisket, just chilling. It's been sitting in that salt and pepper now for about 30 minutes. And temperature wise, I'm starting to hit 200 degrees according to the barrel smoker itself. So time to close both dampers and the top damper to about 25%. Now it's time to put the cherry chunks on. I'm just being patient at this point, making sure that I'm regulating the temperature of my barrel smoker at this point. I'm happy, so time to put the meat on the smoker. I'm gonna leave this alone for one hour before I check on it again. One hour later, I'm just gonna give it a quick spray of water. And as you can see, I'm starting to get a little bit of color. So worthwhile noting about 90 minutes into the cook is uh, the temperature seemed to be creeping up very, very gradually. So what I've decided to do is close that top damper completely to bare minimum. And then with the side dampers, I've closed them up just a little bit more as well. So there's just a little bit of air getting in to try and regulate that temperature. So I've also hooked up my Therm Pro just to make sure the temperature is accurate from what's on the barrel, because I'll be honest with you, I don't always trust the thermometer on these barrels or even the Kamado Joes. So worth noting guys. Sure enough, it's telling me 300 degrees in the middle and about 269 on the top. So that's a big difference. I'm gonna heat up a couple of more bits of wood, have one more look at the brisket and give it a spray. It's looking really good at this point. So I've got my next two blocks of cherry wood just warming up on the top of the barrel now. I've also hooked up my Therm Pro. So top left, that's telling me that my barrel smoke is actually about 282 degrees at the moment. And then the blue one there is my brisket. So I'm not quite at the stall yet, still going up. And then the bottom two, they're my two porks. So as you can see, one's a little bit hotter than the other. That suggests that maybe the right side of my smoker is a little bit warmer at the moment. That's okay, doesn't matter. Just let it cook 
It'll be ready when it's ready. Those wood chunks are a little bit warmer now, so time to throw those on for some additional smokiness. I'm in the stall now. I'm happy with how this is looking. It's time to wrap it up and try and get it as tender as possible. That's the trick with these cheap briskets. You wanna put them in some foil, I find. I know I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of bark, but there's not much fat there. I'm gonna be using some thick aluminium foil and putting it in some beef stock and wrapping it up until she's ready. All right, so the meat is all wrapped. It's sitting at about 175 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment. I'm maintaining my temperature of around 250, 280 throughout the whole cook. Let's have a look at the firebox and just see how she's going. I've only filled her up once and that was literally a handful, I would say, of additional charcoal. So let's have a little look. Considering I didn't fill this basket all the way up, I was pretty happy with how the heat was going. I haven't used a huge amount of coal. I've used a little bit, sure, but nowhere near as much as what I thought. I'm probing at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but as you can see in the brisket here, I'm getting plenty of resistance. So time to chuck it back in. I chucked it back in and I was probing even less. It's the thing with these briskets and barbecue, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient. So again, I put it in and I finally hit my 205. So our brisket is now probing beautifully. It's like butter. It's about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So time to put it in the esky, let it rest for a good 90 minutes to two hours if you can. And then we'll see how tender it is, how tasty it is and enjoy it for dinner. So I actually rested this for about 90 minutes. As you can see, I've got plenty of that fat from the top cap. I've got plenty of juices there from the beef stock. I flipped it over because I cooked it fat cap down. And as you can see, I've got some nice juices there, slicing it up. And I was, to be honest, pretty stoked with the smoke ring that I saw on this thing. I would normally spend more money on a decent brisket and enjoy it, but some people are on a budget. Things are crazy in the world at the moment. Everything's going up in price. So I wanted to try and cook a cheap brisket in the best way I could. All right, so here we have our cheap supermarket brisket. You can go to your butchers and get a much better quality brisket than this. But the purpose of this video was to show you how you can make the most out of a cheap brisket. And this brisket cost me $17, which is super, super cheap. But I would say it was a pain in the backside. I got to 190 degrees and it took me three and a half hours to get to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not normal in my opinion when you get a good quality brisket. However, I am super impressed with the color of this brisket. The smoke ring is just out of this world. It was cooked on the Pit Boss barrel smoker. Based on looks, I'm super impressed, but it always comes down to the taste. So let's have a slice, cut it off, and see how this Texan brisket tastes, because that's what's important. It broke pretty easy. Tastes outstanding. I tell you what, for $17, you ain't gonna get a better brisket than that. I'm super impressed with myself. That is absolutely brilliant. Wow, I'm blown away. The Pit Boss Barrel Smoker is outstanding. The smoke ring is amazing. The flavor is amazing. You can achieve amazing results with cheaper cuts of meat, if you take the time, if you're patient, and you just choose the right flavor. This is brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again real soon. Appreciate it. Catch you later. In summary, it had good taste. It wasn't the best brisket that I've ever had, of course, but I was really happy with the Champion Pit Boss Smoker. It done a great job, gave me a great smoke ring, great flavor, well worth investing in if you're interested in getting into barrel smoking. Thanks for watching everybody.